to the goal line. Yeah, D'Angelo between the 20s. Yeah. John Stewart. Oh, God. I hate that. That's what they're going to do. I hate that in fantasy football. So bad. If they have two backs, they're going to use them, just like Seattle's going to use both Julius and Maurice. Yeah. Hey, you know, uh, D'Angelo Williams averaged over five yards a carry last season in Carolina. He looks good. On a bad team. That Carolina wasn't good last year. And he was, he averaged, you know, I, I just, I don't, I don't like it. I don't think that this, I don't like the running back by committee. I don't think that it's just because I'm a fantasy guy. It is. Okay. You wouldn't care. I wouldn't care otherwise, but looking at it, if I was an owner or a coach or whatever, I would want, like, I would want to have a guy, a main guy, a st- to get into the flow and the rhythm, to be the one, you know, the steady. Yeah, but it's fresh the legs. Guy. You're always putting in fresh legs. Well, I know, but you can you can spell a guy here and there and keep him fresh. I mean, look at Ladanian Tomlinson. Dude has never missed a game. Yeah. In his, like, eight years or nine years or whatever he's been playing, he's never missed a game, never, carried, never shared the load with anybody. Look at the success. Yeah, but you know why? Because he's Ladanian, Ladanian Tomlinson. Tomlinson. Yeah, I know. I mean, D'Angelo Williams is not. No, LT. Well, no. he's not going to be, so they want someone else in there, too. I mean, but I just, it, to me, it seems like the more successful teams have a guy. Well, yeah, if you're fortunate enough to get a guy like that. But D'Angelo averages over five yards a carry. He could be the guy. Yeah, but they must not think he can do it all year. Every, they're every just, they're time. sheep. They're, they're follower sheep. sheep. Yeah. They're just, oh, we have to have two. Everybody else has two. Yeah, Let's once two. it started, it's just been. Ugh. Now they're threatening Marion and Felix Jones. Are oh, gonna be I know. Sharing, so. I know. That total, I mean, if Marion Barber can't be the feature back in Dallas. He's got to be. Dude, if I was him, I would quit. Yeah, don't, they're thinking about running him like Julius and then giving Felix. The, the goal line carries? The touchdowns. Marion the Barbarian is a tank. Yeah. Of course, who really knows what they're going to do? No. No. I, I think they're going I Honestly, I think Marion's the they have safe to. bet, dude. I think Marion Barber's But the why safe would bet. they draft such a great running back in the, yeah. in the draft? Who knows? I, here's the other thing, though. And uh, just another way that you can apply fantasy football to real life. <laughs> running backs go down. Yeah, they do. A lot. You know, they go down a lot. Uh, the good ones go down. The, I mean, every running backs go down. So you want a good backup. So it's not bad to stockpile running backs. Yeah, and you want a good backup. You want a guy you could plug in to be the starter if your guy goes down. Yeah, but that's just going to cause, you know, problems. You know what I mean? Because that guy wants to play, he too. He wants to start, too. I know, but and he knows he can go somewhere else and start and carry the ball every time. But also, running backs are working on, like, a four- or five-year, you know, they'll stay four- or five-years tops with one squad, yeah. and then they get traded when they turn 28 or 29. They yeah. get traded away. I mean, the cycle of running backs for teams is just boom, boom, boom. You know, it's every three or four years there's a new guy getting plugged in. Yeah. So even if you come into a place as a rookie running back that has a guy in place, if he's been there for two years, you're, like, a year or two away from being the guy. For a couple years, and then they're going to trade you. True, but that's just. That's, uh, that's, I just don't like it. Get a guy. Get a guy. I know. I mean, Marion Barber. You have him. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, you don't need anything else. They don't. No, Marion Barber's uh, Marion Barber. Good enough. Good enough. But it seems to me like you know teams with one feature guy. Or better. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's sit here and look at it. Yeah, the Giants won the Super Bowl last year with kind of a committee backfield. But Brandon Jacobs was their guy when he was healthy. That's only because he was hurt. Yeah, That's when he's why. healthy, he is their guy. Yeah. All right. Eagles have Westbrook. No problem there. I'm not trying to split any backfield. No Coral Buckhalter there. You know what only I mean? Only when Westbrook's tired. Yep. That's it. Uh, Redskins got Portis. A lot of people thought uh, Liddell Betts was going to take him to his carries last year. Not mm. a bit. Didn't even really seem. Mm-hmm. And the Cardinals blow. They have Edger and James and just mm-hmm. one guy. But he's actually supposed to be losing some carries. 
this season. He should. They have, uh, who do they got? I was reading about this. Oh, this Tim Hightower from Richmond. Uh, rookie Tim Hightower, 6'1", 225. They really like his size, and uh, and they think he's gonna be a he's gonna be a, a contributor for sure. Mm-hmm. So they're they're thinking that he's he's probably gonna just maybe take away the edges goal line carries and and just come take about half of the carries away from Edger and James. So did the Colts get rid of him just in time or what? Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. You know. Right when we did the very first Dirty Word show, that happened. Like, that had just happened. That was one of our topics from the show number one, mm-hmm. was Colts getting rid of Edger and James, good or bad call. And it was me and Diggs and his dad. And those two idiots were like, oh, terrible call. What did you get rid of Edger and James for? A three-headed monster, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I, t- I tried to tell them. I tried to tell them. I was like, you know, this is Indy. This is Indy. Yeah. Like, they're going to bring somebody in, and he's going to fit the system, and fine. he'll be a pro bowler. Yeah. The same way they brought in Edger and James after, do you remember? Marshall Falk. Mm-hmm. That's right. Marshall Falk. Yeah. yeah I, you know. They know how to run. They know how to use running. Absolutely. So, I was right. Bots were wrong. It's just, let's put that, I'm up 2 nothing on them. <laughs> but, I don't know. To me, it seems like, It seems like you have, you know, the teams with one guy have more success than Frank Gore in San Francisco. I mean, these teams are bad, but their running backs are good. Well, look at the Patriots. They use 19 running backs. Well, yeah, but they're different. The New England Patriots last year were such a different team. Like, they used, they threw short passes instead of a running game. You know, like, when they actually wanted to run the ball, they'd have Maroney in there. Yeah. But then when they wanted to pass the ball out of the backfield, they put Kevin Falk in there, and he would catch the ball and mm-hmm. take off. But, I mean, it was like running the ball, but it was throwing the ball. That It was just a very odd situation in New England. Who else did they have that was taken? Sammy Morris. Yeah. Yeah. Sammy Morris was hawking, hawking a few carries, too. Yeah. But, you know, Buffalo has Marshawn. Jets have Thomas Jones. So a lot of teams are going with one running back. Of course, they don't seem to be any of the good teams. So. Right. The two teams that are in the Super Bowl use multiple running backs. Yeah, back. yeah, but they didn't want. Well, the Giants didn't want to, but they did. And they they did. made it. Yeah, I know, and they won. Yeah. All right, fine. Two running backs are better. I there, I said it, it. I think it is. Colts won the Super Bowl the year they had Dominic Rhodes and Joseph Adai. Yeah. All right. The Bears made it. The Bears. Thomas yeah, the you're Benson. right. You're right. I suck. It's because yeah. they change up. I mean, it's two different styles. They don't know what to do. <sighs> I suck. I still don't like it. It must just be the I don't fantasy. like it either because of fantasy, but that's the only reason. I know that. You, you can admit that? Yeah. All right. I See, I try to search for other reasons. Because I wouldn't care how many touchdowns or yards the running back gets unless they're on my fantasy <laughs> team. Or the guy I'm playing. Yeah, I feel you. All right. Okay. Where's my little list? As long as they win. Who cares? <laughs> you know. 